welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another episode of the Never Get Bored Legacy Challenge. In the last episode, if you didn't check it out, I will go ahead and put it in the top right hand corner so you can go check it out. But in the last episode, Kala actually got into some drama because she found out that Michael, aka the Creature Keeper, was in a relationship, but not only in a relationship, married. So she found out that he is actually married and he never told her any of this. Like, I don't think that he was married from the start because she actually asked him if he was single in the beginning just to kind of see. Because, like, Kala doesn't mind being with a married man, but, like, she just wanted to know, like, so she could be prepared for the future. Like, if, like, things didn't work out or whatever. Um, so, yeah, she, she found out that he's married. So apparently... He went and got married while they were having a non-exclusive thing. So Kala just thought since, you know, the Creature Keeper was now in a real relationship, she should go ahead and just break things off with him. So she did, and she actually went to the bar and got drunk and just kind of, you know, shook it off, like just kind of let it go that he was having something else with somebody else. So yeah, honestly, I think she was kind of not as upset about it as I thought she would be. Like, she was annoyed with him for not communicating with her about it, but she's not really heartbroken or anything. So I think she knows that there's a better guy out there for her. So yeah, but like right now, she's going to be focusing on herself, working on her farm. And I'm really excited because I actually want to get her a pet in this episode because she's getting a little bit of money. So, yeah, and I don't want her to be alone here at the house anymore. So, I'm going to get her a dog, I believe. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Okay, so Cal is just over here sitting on her bed. I actually want her to maybe read her gardening book because she is a level three in gardening but for this generation you have to reach level 10 of the gardening skill so you have to max it out so I'm gonna have her go ahead and read this and try to work on it a bit also Kala also tried to clean up the house a little bit there is still a dirty plate over here so we're just gonna throw that in the sink but she did clean things up so it doesn't look as dirty anymore so little by little, as she gets a little bit more money, she's trying to like invest in some cleaning supplies that are like vegan friendly and like, you know, good for the environment. So she's like looking for cleaning supplies that are going to be good to use for her home and stuff like that. So yeah, she's been cleaning little by little and she's just trying to make the place look a little better and... That is part of this generation as well, is to, as you get more money, like, try to make your rundown cottage more cozy. So, that's what she's been doing. So, yeah, I definitely see her getting uh, her cleaning supplies from somebody who is, you know, getting cleaning supplies that are made for, like, people that are vegan or vegetarian who don't want all these really crazy chemicals in their house. So, I definitely see her, like, looking for a specific kind of like cleaning supplies to clean her house with. I think that's really detailed as well for like her backstory as well. Um, so she's just reading a little bit. I do need to turn my headline effects back on because I did turn them off um, when I was getting thumbnail pictures. But she is trying to get this skill up. She's still burnt out I believe. Is she still burnt out? No, she's actually not burnt out anymore. So I think her just taking care of herself a little bit has made her not be burnt out anymore. And I'm really happy about that because she shouldn't be burnt out from work from just going on her first couple of days of work. So, but if you know Kala, Kala honestly has a hard time sticking to any job, any person. So yeah, she just kind of... You know, a girl who just goes about and goes to different jobs, different relationships. But deep down, she really wants a real relationship. But she'll get it one day, hopefully. And, you know, she'll have a family and it'll all be better. But for right now, we're staying away from that. Because honestly, all the stuff with the Creature Keeper went the opposite direction 
me and her were planning because I thought the creature keeper was clingy and wanted to be with her because he kept calling her all the time and being like, hey, you want to go to the Spice Festival and have some hookah? You want to you wanna go on a date? Like, he kept asking her and calling her up all and asking her all these questions. Like, you want to spend more time with me? When the reality was that he actually had a woman on the side that he really wanted to marry. So, yeah, that was just so much for her to deal with. But she's actually feeling a little flirty right now. Oh my gosh. Feeling flirty. Got game like an alcohol-induced Casanova. So she's still feeling inebriated from getting drunk yesterday at the bar. Or was it today? I think it was today in the game. So she still is a bit Maybe tipsy. Uh -huh. So she's trying to just take care of herself and work on her skills for a bit. She's almost there. Yay! She reached level four of the gardening skill. Kala can now talk to plants to fulfill her social need and harvest plants in a nearby area. So that's good. So glad she's getting up her skill. We need to come out here and like check on these plants and make sure they're okay. Looks like they're okay right now. She could come and talk to the plants. I do want her to try and get like a little patch and try and plant some pumpkins and stuff. But she doesn't even have enough money for that right now. Does she go to work tomorrow? Um, yes. She actually goes to work tomorrow, I believe. So, she could get some more money and hopefully we could afford a chicken coop. Because that is another goal I'd really like to tick off for this generation. So, hopefully she can do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and let her go to sleep. She needs to take care of herself. Um, she can come over here and use the bathroom. Oh my gosh, she can take a pregnancy test. I don't think we're going to take a pregnancy test because off screen when her and Michael um, had a little something, he actually used a condom, so we're not really worried about that. She actually isn't on any birth control because honestly, I don't really see her getting on birth control because she wouldn't really want to like take any pills, I feel like. I feel like she's the kind of woman that would just want to like see what happens and just be okay with like if she gets pregnant or not and not really want to take a bunch of pills. I think she would believe in natural like vitamins like eating fruits and vegetables and like all that kind of stuff. So she wouldn't want to like take any kind of like pills or nothing um, for any reason whatsoever. So I think I'm going to have her come and get her a snack before bed too. I want her to come and get some peas. I think she just needs a little snack. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she was going to be hungry. Her needs are going down a little bit. So she's going to get her a snack of peas. Um, are we going to go ahead and like put this book up? Yeah. Let's go ahead and put that book up. Um, I was going to put the gardening book maybe in her inventory since she reads it all the time. But I think it's just okay to go ahead and put it in the bookshelf. Um, Alright. Well, she's going to head to bed. She's going to wash her dishes and head off to bed because she's just had a long day. She's tipsy still. Oh, she's sobering up from drinking. Kala is feeling slightly inebriated. So she's sobering up, but she needs to get her some sleep because she definitely will have a hangover tomorrow. So I'm going to let her sleep and then I'll resume when she wakes up. Oh my gosh, Kala! Kala woke up feeling not so good. Like, she's feeling pretty like upset like her stomach is not doing so well she is very uncomfortable so this says hangover or hungover from drinking Kala is pretty hungover maybe that final drink last night was unnecessary oh gosh girl do you need to puke do you need to puke no you're good she's also on her period at the moment so she's just going through a lot at the moment so uh, I'm trying to watch out to make sure she doesn't leak any blood so she can go and change her tampon if she needs to. Um, but she needs to change her outfit really quick. Let me change her into her little gardening outfit. This is one of the two gardening outfits I gave her. This is so cute. I love this on her. I feel like it makes sense that she would wear something like this. This top is actually from the horse ranch pack. I really love it. So, the bottoms are not from the Horse Ranch pack, though. They are actually CC. And the gloves, I believe, are from Horse Ranch as well, maybe. 
Um, but yeah, she looks so cute in this. This definitely looks like a gardening outfit. So I gave her this because she's going to be working outside a lot. Um, let's go ahead and maybe harvest the choco berries. I mean, we could use the money at the moment. So maybe we'll just go ahead and, um, we're going to sell the spicy mushrooms for sure. Let's go ahead and sell those. And I need to think about the choco berries if we really want to sell them or not. Um, let's sell these ones too. And we'll sell these. These are not popping up though. These lovely mushrooms, they're not popping up because their, um, season is not current. Like, they're out of season. Their season that they sprout is fall and spring. So we'll have to wait on those. Um, let's see. What else do we want to do? You know what? We might as well just go ahead and harvest choco berries so we can have some more. Um, do we need to do anything with these? No, I don't think we need to do anything. She could actually research this, maybe? No, she can't. Okay. Well, research this one and see if you can learn anything about it. I really want her to research so that way she can see if she can, like, improve these a little bit. And make the plants more, like, worth stuff. Let's see. Girl, are you learning anything about them? Are you learning all you can? Are you being, like, a botanist over here? It's time to learn some more about these plants because we need to make them worth as much as we can because one day you're going to be entering your fruits and vegetables in the Finchwick Fair. So you definitely need to like learn all you can about these plants so you'll know more about your other ones to make them better looking. Okay, so Calla has researched Choco Berry and updated the notebook. What's this say? So season is all seasons. This fruit tastes just like chocolate. Wow. Finally, an unhealthy alternative to chocolate. So, it didn't really tell us anything else about it. Uh, so, I guess we can't fertilize it with anything. So, we're just going to leave it. Um, but I am, I think, I'm going to go ahead and have her adopt a fox. Because there is a fox that is pretty tamed, that is down at the shelter, who needs a home and... She is actually going to adopt it. So it's actually a free fox. And, you know, it's it's not a fox that can go live out in the wild. It's a fox that just needs a good home and someone to take care of it. So she's going to adopt this fox. Okay, so here we are in Create a Sim. I went ahead and made her a fox. So this is the fox that was at the shelter and needed a home because it's a really nice fox. It's not like all the other foxes that are out in the wild. This fox was actually found as a baby. And it has been at the shelter for quite a while. Because nobody else in Hinford on Bagley is brave enough to take care of a fox. Because they're too worried about their cows and their chickens and everything. So, you know, Calla was happy to go ahead and adopt this fox. Because she's found all these foxes running around her property that are so cute to her but she didn't want to like go and pet them because they're wild so having a fox that is tamed that is from a shelter is definitely what she was hoping for so yeah it's really exciting that she's going to be nice enough to adopt this fox that is in need so we're going to go ahead and give him a collar she is actually going to name him alpine and i thought that's a really cute name so we're going to give him a little collar. I think we're going to go for the blue one. This one's really cute on him. Oh, I love that. Or we could do this one. I think that one's a little bit too big. Um, ooh, this one's really cute. You know what? I think we're going to go with this one. That looks really good on him. He is so adorable. I love him so much. I love his coloring. He looks really good. So his traits are jumpy smart and active and I felt like because he is a fox he would be a very active um pet but he is also jumpy because he is kind of scared of things a lot because he was found in the wild when he was a baby so I feel like that's made him a little bit more shy and skittish so yeah but he is also very smart so he'll learn commands very easily for Kala so yeah I'm really, really happy that she has herself a fox and a really, really sweet fox. 
Oh, look, here's Alpine. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so small. Oh my gosh. He's just a tiny little thing. He is so cute, though. I need a picture of him. He's so adorable. So she's going to come over here and pet him and make him, you know, get to know her a little bit because this is a new environment for him. He's been used to staying in the shelter since he was a little tiny, little tiny thing. So she's going to get to know him, offer friendship, and see if he's going to be good to her. Oh, he's kind of scared a little bit. Poor guy. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he doesn't like her. Oh, no. Here, go and pet her. Or him, I mean. Go and pet him and see if you can get him to like you, girl. Because he is just very scared to be in a new environment. Come make sure that he's doing okay. Oh, give him a treat. Oh, he's so sweet. He honestly is just scared. That's probably why he was, like, having a hard time um, getting to know her a little bit. So we're going to come and get him some food. Let's go ahead and, like, fill his bowl here. We're going to go and give him a little bit of chow. I think she just feed him whatever she has in her fridge. Oh, he's coming over here and playing with the bowl. Oh, my gosh. He's already getting acquainted with the house. That's so sweet. But she's going to give him some food. And then I think we need to go and see if I can have her work on her skills a little bit more. Because we got to have enough money to be able to um, have a greenhouse. Because I really want her to have a greenhouse soon. So we can keep all the plants all well all year long. So hopefully I can get her to do that. So, girl, come over here and read your book a little bit more because we need to get better at gardening so we can have ourselves a greenhouse. Because if you get a greenhouse, then you'll be all set, girl. You won't have to worry about money for a while because you'll be able to sell all your plants all year long. So, she's reading her book. Where did Alpine go? He's running around the house everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. He's running around. He's so happy to be out of the shelter. He just feels so at home already. Like he was a little skittish to meet her, but he's so happy to have a new home. He's so stinking cute. Um, he's, so, he's just running around. Oh my gosh, he's so quick. He just runs around super, super fast. He's so, so cute. Um, but yeah, she's reading her book. I do want her to actually... Um, play a little bit with Alpine so he can get used to her a little more because even though he's like running around and he seems like he's having a good time he's still in a new environment so I want her to make him aware that she is here for him and that she is his owner and she wants to take care of him because he's not used to having all that oh my gosh oh She's hugging him. I need a picture of this. Oh, her and Alpine are getting acquainted. That's so sweet. She's giving him some love. Oh, he's licking her. That's so stinking sweet. Oh, my God. Michael. Michael, what are you doing here? Girl, put him down. Put Alpine down. Oh, my gosh. Michael, what are you doing here? Come over here and yell at him and tell him to leave. Like, what's happening? Oh my gosh, put him down. <laughs> oh man, Alpine is being a little bit clingy. Like, he's a little bit scared and nervous still to be here. Oh my gosh, go over here and tell Michael to leave. Like, he needs to go. We're doing stuff on our own. We don't need him. It's like, Michael, what are you doing here? You're married. Leave, okay? We're not having our thing anymore. Get out. Just leave. And he's like, I'm sorry, I just wanted to see you, okay? I still really like you. Oh my gosh, who is this? Ignacio Robles? I've called to inform you that your great-great-grand, second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune, specifically to you. Will you accept? <laughs> oh my god, this game, I swear. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, well, I think, honestly, she wouldn't say under what conditions. I think she would really want the money because she's struggling right now. 
and it's just good getting by with whatever she gets from her career and her plants. So I think she'd be really excited to get some money. So we're going to say money, money, give me now because she's trying to start up her farm. So this says very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. Oh my god, girl. Now we have to get married in seven days. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Like, she's definitely not going to get married to Michael because he is already married. So, who is she going to get married to? Girl, you're really getting yourself into a predicament here. Like, I don't know what we're supposed to do. And what does this say? Farm animals from Farmer Trait. There's nothing a farmer loves more than being around animals. Oh, she's so happy to be around Alpine. And she's so happy she adopted him. But this says, married for money. From trying to get inheritance money. Calla accepted the offer of a giant inheritance over the phone. But now she has only seven days to get married to satisfy the hidden condition of the reward. Why does this always seem to happen to her? Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do. She's probably going to have to meet this man that I was saving for her to, to marry one day. So I'm probably going to have to give him a makeover and put him in the game. <laughs> now that she got this pop-up, oh my gosh, this, this game's just throwing lots of drama. And I absolutely am here for it. So she's just, for now, going to go ahead and tell him to get out. Like, just leave. Please just go away, Michael. Like, we don't want any more things with you. You're not making this easy, okay? Go spend time with your wife. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, she needs to come and get her some food. So I'm going to have her come and get her some leftovers. She's going to come have some pizza. We can also go and plant some of these plants, but I was going to wait till she gets her greenhouse, but we might have to go ahead and do it. Um, but she is going to get some money from this inheritance if she can manage to find a man to marry in seven days. So hopefully she can do that. In the next episode, we're going to be working on that because she, if she gets this money, she will be able to spend money t on a greenhouse and be able to fix up the house more and make it look nice. So yeah, but who is this woman here? Who is this? Oh my gosh, this could be a potential friend, Ra Rami Watson. Come over here and introduce yourself, girl. You can meet yourself a friend. You definitely need all the friends, because these men lately have been so much drama. So you just need you a good friend to hang out with. Oh, Rami's so sweet. What did she say? So, Kala's first sentiment about her is clingy. Sentiment of dislike from very first meeting, Rami... Kala got the distinct feeling that this sim is a little too clingy for her taste. And Rami's first impression of her is sentiment of appreciation. This sim appears to truly care about their impact on the world and the well-being of everyone and everything on the planet. It's heartwarming. So, oh my gosh, and her spouse is Thomas Watson, the cute guy from the bar. Oh my gosh, wow, that's a little bit of tea right there. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and, like, talk to her a little bit. Um, let's just, like, find out what she likes and enthuse about gardening. Because I feel like everybody around here loves gardening. So, that seems like a good topic to talk about when you first meet someone here in Hinford on Bagley. So, she's going to talk to her. Oh, where's she going? Is she leaving already? Oh, she's going over here to look at her garden, apparently, and, like, admire her pond. Oh, where's she going? Oh my gosh, she's actually getting in the pond to, like, splash around. <laughs> Rami's so cute. Like, why is she so wholesome? She is literally making this whole entire episode more wholesome. After finding out that Cal is gonna have to get married in seven days, we definitely needed a little bit of wholesomeness with finding a new friend. But yeah, honestly, I'm so happy that Cal got herself a fox that she can take care of and be, um... Be not alone here in the home. So, yeah, that's really good. But also, she now has to get married in seven days. So, I'm probably going to have to give that guy a makeover that I have for her that I was saving for the future. 
But it's going to have to happen now because she needs this money to get her farm up and running. So she's going to do what she can to get this inheritance money. So yeah, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope you all are having a peaceful day. And I will speak to you all next time. Bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.